Introducing new TTS Air, the most realistic text-to-speech tool you can run even on a CPU. Experience next-level voice cloning that captures tone, emotion, and personality with incredible accuracy, all from just 5 to 15 seconds of reference audio. New TTS Air brings studio-quality voices to your projects, whether you're using a low-end GPU or just your CPU. It's lightweight, fast, and unbelievably lifelike, perfect for creators, developers, and AI enthusiasts who want professional-grade speech synthesis without expensive hardware. With new TTS Air, you can clone voices, generate ultra-natural speech, and create content that sounds human, not robotic. Get ready to experience the next evolution of voice technology. If you are new to my YouTube channel, subscribe it and press bell icon to stay updated. Don't watch my whole video. And don't forget to like and share. Dot. Well, let's get started how to install new TTS Air locally. Click the Houding Face Space link in the description to try new TTS Air right now. Since usage on Hugging Face is limited, you can easily install new TTS Air locally on your own system. It runs smoothly on CPU with around 30 gigabytes of RAM or even a low-end GPU. To set it up locally, make sure you have the following installed. Python 3.10.11 FFmpeg Visual Studio Build Tools Git for Windows eSpeak Optional, CUDA Toolkit 11.8 to 12.8 for GPU acceleration if you're unsure how to install these dependencies, check out my installation playlist. I'll include the link in the description below. To install this locally, click on three dots at top and choose local run option. Click on git clone option and copy git clone code. Go to folder or drive you want to install this in and type cmd in folder path a new command window will open. Paste git clone code to clone it in this folder or drive. After cloned with cd command go inside clone folder. Now create Venv using python 3.10. Activate Venn with activation code. Type git sub module init code. Type sub module update code. Now run requirements code to install requirements. After requirements installed, go to main folder and open app file and text editor. In line 16 and 18, change CUDA to CPU and save this file. Now run main code. Install spaces with pip code then run main code again.
This will auto-launch in your browser. If you want to install this with CUDA support, the process is same. We launch new TTS Air. Run uninstallation code for Torch, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio. Now go to main page of PyTorch and copy code for your CUDA version you got installed. Since mine is 11.8, I will install PyTorch for 11.8, also add Torch Vision in list. After PyTorch installed, go to main folder and open app file in text editor. In line 16 and 18, make sure it's CUDA. If you're going to install for GPU, if CPU, then there should be CPU, then save this file. Now run MAME code to launch new TTS Air. To use this again, easily make a bat file. Go to main folder and create new text file. Open text file and type this code as you see and save as run.bat. Now you can easily launch it by double-clicking this file. To use it, upload audio file you want to sound like. Also, you need to type text which is spoken in that text file. Type text you want to sound like and click Submit.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it, Dodd. If you've got any question or request, comment, Dodd. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dodd. Take care.